Hello, I just want to make this quick video just to talk about what is image stabilization. I'm not going to go into anything technical here, but just wanted to show you together with the sample, of course, what is image stabilization on a cheap camera. You'll sometimes see these cameras on Amazon. They'll say EIS. So I think it stands for electronic image stabilization, or at least the IS definitely stands for image stabilization. And then what that does is on these cheaper cameras, even with a with a little bit of loss in quality, they're going to give you stable video. So instead of you're walking around, oh, shake, 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 it's gonna look more like this. And uh, you can even see here, look, you see how it kind of, there's like a delayed movement here. See so that little icon here, that shake, anti-shake. So they call it anti-shake, image stabilization, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And um, it's not all the same. Not every camera that says EIS is gonna have a good image stabilization feature, but this one in particular, the X35 is very good. So. I can show you a, a clip without image stabilization and a clip with image stabilization and see what I'm talking about. So at the 1080p 60 frames per second, we have this enabled this option here, image stabilization. We can turn it on and as a result of turning image stabilization on, we should have smoother video. So you'll see this in the product description. Not all cameras have it, but you'll sometimes see it'll say EIS. And what does that mean? It essentially means that you have the ability to have stabilized video. And I will just say that well, having had two action cameras with EIS, it seems that there is a loss in quality and on a more expensive camera like this, this camera has image stabilization, actually. But it does not result in the loss of quality. This is an expensive $250 camera. This was $90, you get the idea. Some $50 cameras have image stabilization too. It might be the same, but uh, just understand that not all image stabilization is the same. I have another camera, or this one, the Vantop moment for you. I don't really prefer the image stabilization here because I detected a little bit of shakiness, which kind of defeats the purpose. For me, again, this is my own personal opinion, just the obvious choice is this one, just because of the way that when I walk, you can see there's movement when I'm walking, walking and filming, but it's so stabilized and so smooth that I can overlook the loss in quality. So you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna play a clip here with image stabilization next, with and without, and you'll see the difference. Yes, there is a loss in quality, but if you're someone who likes to film while walking around, on this camera, I just really like it. You'll, you'll see it on some other cameras too, but so far I've only had two cameras with image stabilization. Here, here they are, the Vantop moment for you. Uh, focus. And the Campark X35. And so far I really do prefer it here, and it's just it's just amazing how, how it works. Very cool. Uh, this was a more expensive, cheap <laughs> camera, it's funny to say it, that I purchased for about $90, around $90, maybe I overpaid, but the fact that you can have stabilized video on a cheap camera less than $100 is just very impressive to me, especially ones that come with the underwater housing. They're just a lot of fun to use. Imagine having image stabilization underwater is pretty cool if you're just kind of swimming. So anyways, that that's really all I have to say about this camera. It's, uh, I mean, about the image stabilization feature here is that not all cameras have it, but when you do, just understand that not all the image stabilization is going to be good. So that that's that, that's kind of the part that you have to understand, that when I thought it was great here, I purchased another camera, there's a little bit of shakiness, which again, defeats the purpose. So I really, really like the image stabilization feature here. Just take a look, uh, next pic, next clip, if you want to see what it looks like, if, you're, if that's something that's important to you. When researching a camera, again, it's called EIS. That's a, that, the kind of setting that they have there. So if you ever see it, EIS, just understand that means image stabilization, but don't just assume that it's gonna make your video perfectly stable like it does here. You have to watch other people's videos in order to determine whether it actually does stabilize the video. That's all I have to say about image stabilization. It's a lot of fun. Um, can look really good or just look like a piece of shape. This really depends on the camera. That's all I have to say right now. I do like this camera, the Campark X35, one of my one of my favorites, that is for sure, as soon as it decides to focus. There we go, the Campark X35. Hello, this is a 1080p 60 frames per second video test with the Campark X20, sorry, the Campark X35. I'm trying to keep the camera still as possible while we have the image stabilization on. This feature is designed to produce stable video, even if you're walking around normally the footage would be quite shaky, but here the goal is to have the video look as stable as possible, and the way to do that with this camera has the feature is called the image stabilization, EIS, as, as it is referred to in the settings. So the goal here, <clears throat> even though there's a little bit of a loss in quality, the goal here is that with good stabilization, it should not be shaking. It should be easy to watch this footage. I'm walking, I'm walking around Trying to hold the camera still as possible with the image stabilization turned on. 
and normally if you're walking around without it, it's really impossible to have the camera completely still and to have it completely stable, despite how, how hard you might try to keep it stable. That's why with, with something like this camera, definitely I think this was worth the extra money. This was the most expensive cheap camera that I bought. I paid around $90 over a year ago and I'm very happy because to be able to walk around with your camera and to have stable video is very important if you don't just want to stand still or if you don't want to walk around with shaky looking video. So the stabilization here I think is very good. That's one of the reasons why this is my favorite camera. Actually that reason. Because there's a lot of, a lot of cameras that I have that have good quality video but not all of them have the ability to stabilize the video. So, of course, I'm not going to just tell you that this is good stabilization. I want you to decide that for yourself. Maybe you disagree with me. But so far, so good. Image stabilization turned on 1080p 60 frames per second. I do perceive that there's a loss in quality, but that's okay because on these cheaper action cameras, I think when you turn on image stabilization, don't expect the quality to be the same. I think there's different types of stabilization. This one is <coughs> resulting in a little bit of a loss in quality. But nevertheless, I'm very happy with it because to be able to walk around with your camera, having stabilized video is, is very cool. And that's why I don't, I, I'm, I'm okay with the fact that I paid dollars for this camera. Anyways, 1080p 60 frames per second with image stabilization on the Campark X35 action camera. Let's see if we can cross the street here. Sunday early afternoon. Uh, maybe we're not going to cross the street. See what happens when I run across the street. Is the stabilization still going to look okay? I don't know. So let's keep walking. Image stabilization with the Campark X35. I think the microphone here is quite good. It's just that if I speak too loudly, it's going to get... The audio will get kind of distorted. So... Anyways. Just walking around here, trying to see how good the stabilization is in the Campark X35. A lot of, a lot of traffic here right now. So anyways, I'm just uh, making several videos with all of my action cameras just trying to figure out which ones have really really good quality so I can show you because if you've never had an action camera before maybe you don't know what's possible and that's certainly the case for me. I definitely didn't know what was possible in terms of quality of footage. Ah, let's see if we can cross the street here. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's see how my image stabilization works when I'm crossing the street. Ah! Okay, 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 go, go, go. Okay, be fine. Okay, good. Image stabilization. Cam Park X35. Cheap action camera. Let's keep walking. Let's keep walking. Don't know how this is going to look on a computer, but if it's not shaking, that's wonderful because I seem to be shaking it quite a bit. Okay, so, anyways, we're going to go up. We go up to one of the fields, and we're just going to walk in a straight line once we get up there. I think uh, to keep in mind that image stabilization on a cheap camera, I'm talking about, let's just say, $90 or less. So there's no guarantee. I have another camera. It's called the Vantop Moment for You. And it does have an image stabilization feature, which is quite good, but it's not as good as this one. It's not as good as this one. 
<clears throat> and that kind of defeats the purpose. Because I, uh, unless there's something really... Like, unless the video is super interesting in and of itself, it's just very hard to watch shaky video. Like if I'm walking without the image stabilization, it's impossible. It's impossible to really, really focus because the camera is going to be shaking up and down like that. Here, I think it seems to be doing a good job of maintaining a stable view. Okay, almost there. Image stabilization. Camp Park X35. I, th I think one of the things I would use this camera for is definitely going on vacation. When I resume going on vacation, the image stabilization. And that is because I, uh, I like to film while I'm walking. Hello, this is another 1080p 60 frames per second video test with the Cam Park X35 action camera. We have the image stabilization turned on here just to see what it looks like when we have hopefully stable video while we are walking around. Very important if you'd like to film and walk at the same time. The cheapest cameras, $50 or less, might not have image stabilization, but you pay a little bit more, then you have, if you're willing to pay a little bit more, you have more options. Uh, just keep in mind that not all EIS features are the same. Sometimes you'll see a little bit of shakiness, and I know that because I have two cameras. This one included, the other one has image stabilization as well, but it's just not very good. So this one definitely my favorite. I paid the most for this camera, I think $90 a year ago. Maybe it's a little bit cheaper now. Don't know if they still sell it, but definitely worth the money if you feel that like you will be using the image stabilization feature a lot, and I definitely will be if I'm, if I'm walking around. I don't want the video to be shaky because I can tell you from experience that no matter how hard you try, if you do not have image stabilization enabled, when you walk with the camera, there will definitely be some shakiness unless I mean, maybe you have some, like, I don't know. <clears throat> maybe you're wearing shoes that just allows you to walk just... Or maybe you're walking very slowly, but but it's just very difficult, I think, to have non-shaky video. So, a good way to test image stabilization is just to walk around. Try holding it still, but try holding the camera as still as possible, but just walk around. And maybe walk up and down the stairs. Maybe try to climb something, climb some rocks or something. Because that'll really put it to the test image stabilization uh there's a little bit of a decrease in quality i think with some cheaper action cameras you'll see it's not you're not going to maintain the same crystal clear quality with good 1080p 60 frame per second video when you have the image stabilization turned on but that's okay it's it's just uh on these cheaper cameras you'll, you'll see that there might be a decrease in quality but that's okay so let's see what happens when we go down the stairs Let's put it to the test here. Have stable video. Okay, here we go. Image stabilization. Walking down the stairs. The Camp Park X35 cheap action camera. How did that go? We'll see when we transfer the footage. Should we try walking up the stairs now? Okay, let's try walking up the stairs now. So we go two stairs. Okay, there we go. Image stabilization with the Camp Park X35 cheap action camera. Well, not really cheap, maybe budget friendly. This definitely was not cheap. $90 I paid for it. We're here at the Edgemont High School track. 
trying to see how good stabilization is. This camera. Sunday, early afternoon. You definitely figure out if you ever have if you have any cameras. Maybe if if you like if you would like a cheap action camera, maybe figure out what you would use it for, and then you can spend the money on something that has specifically those features you want. Maybe you want 4K resolution. Well, be prepared be prepared to spend a little bit more. Maybe you want image stabilization. Maybe you want time lapse. Well, a lot of those are just standard. Time lapse is standard. But specifically, image stabilization. If you if that's interesting to you, if you want to walk while filming, definitely do your research and see if anyone has reviewed the cameras that you're looking at because it's it's definitely cool if you have stable video while you're walking. Just think about what will you be using the camera for? What are you going to be filming? There's Edgewood High School track. What is most important to you? Because it's not about what I think. It's about what what you think. What would you like? Kind of features you're looking for in your cheap action cameras is Vermont High School track Sunday afternoon. Very, very, very cloudy today, as you can see here. Anyways, I think that's the end of our little video image stabilization test with the Cam Park X35. Again, you'll notice, even though I say this is 1080p 60 frames per second, with the image stabilization here turned on, there is a little bit of a loss in quality, but I'm willing to overlook that. Hopefully this video will look stable when I transfer it to the computer. And maybe this will give you an idea of whether this is a feature that is important to you or not. Because uh, definitely when you get to the $60, $70, $80 range, $90, you're going to see more options, more features available. And I, I ask that you just do your research and don't just, don't just buy any camera on Amazon that says EIS, image stabilization, because... <clears throat> With the with the cameras that are sixty dollars, seventy dollars, you just you don't really you don't there's no really guarantee that the features are gonna be great and that the video quality is gonna be great. You just you have to look at videos on Amazon. Sometimes you'll post videos with their reviews on Amazon or just watch YouTube videos. I recommend that. You just don't want to be surprised when you purchase something. Or if you don't mind taking the risk, just go ahead and purchase, but just keep in mind that not all image stabilization features are the same. They're not all the same quality. And not all 1080p 60 frames per second is the same. Uh, some cameras will have the fisheye effect. Uh, some cameras will have the ability to remove that. Like this one, it has distortion correction. That is a feature here. So don't just, if you have a great action camera, don't just assume that every one will be as good if they have the same specifications because that's the thing I've learned unfortunately you don't really know how good the quality is until you buy it and you test it for yourself which is why if you're not willing to take the risk I do recommend watching YouTube videos that show sample footage like this and they say okay for example this video this is 1080p 60 frames per second with image stabilization turned on and then you can say oh well okay at least I know what to expect that's the most important thing anyways thanks for watching this video Image stabilization with the Camp Park X35. Have a nice day.